I was praying. Then I came across the message by the GS which he preached that there's something, um, there's power in the midnight prayers. And I listened to that message and he prayed. After that prayer, I slept like a baby. The following morning, I was able to walk up and I walked from that day. I started walking by myself, feeding myself. And from that day to, to, to date, I am able to walk. I was down about six to seven months. I was unable to do anything. But today, I am strong. I can do anything. I can wash, I cook, do anything. I'm very active. And no one can know that I was having a partial stroke to this left part of my body. I can stretch up my hands. I can lift my legs. I can walk. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep checking yourself. Your miracle is there. Next testifier. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, before I came here, I had a growth on my hand, on my right hand. I couldn't do things like lift heavy things or cook in Shima. I was failing to do a lot of chores. So today at the beginning of this service, I gave myself to God and I offered my diseases to God that I have nothing on my hand. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So the condition she's describing is referred to as a ganglionic cyst. It tends to grow on the ankle joint and sometimes on the wrist joint and it tends to affect mobility in the hands. So, yeah. Praise the Lord. You can see her filled with joy and tears of joy rolling down. Praise the Lord. Yes, next testifier. Let's go online. Orchestra, give us music as we get online. going to rise up on our feet as we pray and as you go your miracle will be manifesting and you come back here tomorrow we are going to hear your testimony let's lift up our voices as we thank the lord and praise his holy name let's thank him for this first day what the lord has done for us and uh, how he has helped us how we have received those who have received salvation Let's thank God for them. Let's bless the name of the Lord. And let's pray for our Father in the Lord that the Almighty God will anoint him the more. Tomorrow morning, as we go for the ministers, church workers, and professional conference, great touch from heaven will come down upon the conference. And in the evening, we are coming back here. You go and call your friends, invite your neighbors, and bring them, let's make arrangement for them to come, uh, so that the house of the Lord will be filled. People will be expecting their miracles. In Jesus' name we pray. Almighty God, we thank you and praise your holy name. Thank you for what you've done for us. Thank you for this first day. And we thank you, O oh God, for the glorious things you've done. Those who have given their lives to the Lord. The miracles that we have received, the signs and wonders, oh Lord God Almighty, we pray that you receive all the glory in Jesus' name. 
We pray, O oh God, committing our Father in the Lord into your hands to renew his strength and anoint him the more, O oh God, that tomorrow, Lord, he will give us fresh manna from above. You touch the lives of people. Bring us together tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock in the morning, as we gather at the conference center. Lord God Almighty, in the evening, we are coming back here. Oh God Almighty, we pray. You bring the people from all over that, Lord, they'll come and receive. Receive of the blessings of the Lord. Receive of salvation and receive of healing. Thank you, eternal God. We commit our mommy into your hands, oh God. We pray you renew her strength. All our listeners on social media, oh Lord, we pray that, Father, you will strengthen them, oh God, and make them to be able to touch the lives of other people by inviting them to come and participate of the great things you are doing. Keep us, oh God, as we go safely, Lord, and take us, oh God, tomorrow, if Jesus Christ tarries, to the conference. Thank you, oh Lord, for hearing. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Give me a bigger amen. amen. Thank you very much. God bless you. We are free to go tomorrow. Don't forget, 8 o'clock in the morning, we are at Mulungushi International Conference Center at the KKICC wing. Menbo is where we are. And don't forget, 16.30 tomorrow, we are starting here and we are going to experience the explosion of God's power. God bless you. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. My miracle is here. My miracle is here. Speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. Any part of your body that's not functioning well, you have pain, you have sickness, you have impotence, whatever. Lay your hands where you have that challenge. And then raise up the other hand. And as we pray, in the name of Jesus, our Lord, of the mighty spoken word, healing will come to you there. My healing will come to me here. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for all your people. We thank you for the great expectation. And we thank you for the manifestation we're going to have. Praise the Lord. My miracle is here. My miracle is here. Speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. Any part of your body that's not functioning well, you have pain, you have sickness, you have impotence, whatever. Lay your hand where you have that challenge. And then raise up the other hand, and as we pray, in the name of Jesus, our Lord, of the mighty spoken word, healing will come to you there. My healing will come to me here. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for all your people. We thank you for the great expectation. And we thank you for the manifestation we're going to have.
take away your problems. If you need a blessing that God we will deliver you and, and bless you according to your need. So shall we just pray as an individual? If you are outside and you are hearing my voice, you begin to pray for yourself, wherever you are. Begin to pray for yourself. You are connected to the Alpha location, wherever you are. Begin to pray for yourself. The Lord is about to visit us. The Lord is about to visit us. Where you are, you have come. You have come. You have come to be blessed, my brother. You have come to the right place. You have come to the right place. Like blind Mat but may as he was seated on the highway where Jesus was to pass. And Jesus has come here. Jesus is passing here. And he has seen your need. He has seen your desire. He will visit you, my brother. He will visit you. Your miracle is on the way. Your blessing is on the way. Yes, the Lord has seen your tears. And you are here to receive the blessing of God. Pray that God will bless you. That you not go out of this place empty. You will not leave this place empty. The power of God is coming upon you. The power of God is coming upon you. This is the day as we begin this crusade. The Lord will visit you in a mighty way, in a definite way. He's a God that cannot fail. He's the all-powerful one. He's the almighty God. He cannot fail. He has the power to deliver you. He has the power to solve your problem. He has the power to meet you at the point of your need. Just pray for yourself. Just pray for yourself. If you need healing, mention your healing. Mention your sickness and the Lord will heal you. That as the servant of God is coming up here to minister, that's your time. That's your time. God has seen your affliction. And he says, I've come down to deliver my people. He has come here to deliver you. He says, I've seen the affliction of my people that are in Egypt. And I've come down to deliver them. This is the day. As we begin this crusade, the God Almighty is coming here to deliver you. You have seen your affliction. You have been sick for some time. This is the time of your healing. You are lame. This is the time you walk. You are blind. The time you will see. Whatever need you have, you have come to the light place. The Lord is coming here. The Lord is coming here. Particularly for your case. And he's coming to visit you. Your miracle is on the way. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We will keep on praying. We want this time to commit the servant of God. The convener of GCK. We want to pray for him. We commit him in the hands of God. God will anoint him. We want to pray for special anointing upon his life. That as he stands, he will speak as an oracle of God. He will minister with power. He will minister with action. Minister with the demonstration of the Holy Spirit. That God will equip him. And I will open his mouth. The power of God will come out. Sort out every problem represented here. So shall we just pray for the convener? Let's commit him in the hands of God. And God will anoint him in a special and mighty way. Shall we pray? Let's pray for him. A special anointing upon his life. Special anointing upon his life. That as he stands to minister, the power of God will be upon him. The power of the Holy Ghost will, become, will be upon him. He will minister with fire. He will minister with power. Minister with action. Minister with the demonstration of the Holy Ghost. As signs and wonders will accompany his ministration. As he open his mouth, the power of God will come through the preaching of the word of God. That God will anoint him in a special way, in a definite way for this crusade. Let's pray for him. Let's pray for him. That uncommon common grace and common wisdom upon his life that as he stand to minister, that the Lord will use him in a mighty and definite way. In Jesus' name we pray. I want to hear you. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord has seen you and has come down to deliver you. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We worship you. We honor you. You are a God that answers prayers. Thank you for such an opportunity. We are gathered here to receive from you. We pray that once again, let your presence be here and take full control and bring everything under your control. We honor you. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. For in Jesus' name we pray.
for an encounter Yahweh tell him Yahweh yeah. we came for an encounter Yahweh now sing it one more time Twa Sumbula You are Yahweh, yeah. You are Yahweh. Lift your voice and tell me, You are Yahweh. You are.
that's why we came. You are your way. You are, you are. Covenant keeping God. There is no one like you. Alpha and Omega. <laughs> there is no one. Bring it down, bring it down. Covenant keeping God. There is no one. Covenant keeping God. Covenant keeping God. There is no one. Alpha and Omega. We are expectant. One more time. Say covenant keeping God. There's one thing I know, the hand of Christ will never fail. He'll never fail. Hey, he will never fail. Tonight, Jesus, he will never fail. Our Jesus will never fail tonight. There's one thing I know, the hand of Christ will never fail tonight. There's one thing I know, the hand of Christ will never fail. He is more than able. Jesus is more than able. He is more than able to see me through. Somebody believe in God for a miracle. He is more, more than able. He is more than able. He is more, more than able to see me through. Hallelujah. Where I'm a shilo, where I'm a shilo, where I'm a shilo, tell him Tata anywhere, where I'm a lose, where I'm a lose, yes, Lord. We want to say, Tatani we, Tatani we, Twalet Ayawe, Twalet Aman. Put you put a chair, Twalet Ayawe.
something to the Lord this evening. We worship you, Lord, for you are holy. Worthy is your name, O God. Sim wishing on you new Mumlo Panwe new Wali Wamaka. Wishing on you new Mumlo Panwe new Wali Wamaka. Yahweh, I am Pusha. Wali Wamaka. Wishing on you. Wali Wamaka, wishing on you. Oh, Wali Wamaka, wishing on Wali Wamaka, wishing on One more time. Tell him how powerful, how powerful is your name. Tell him how powerful is your name. How powerful is your name. Oh Lord. One more time. How powerful, Lord. How powerful is your name. Your name, Jesus. How powerful is your name. Rise up as we sing our congregation song. Okay, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We we rise up as we sing from our programs. We are singing Come Believing. Once again, the gospel message. From the Savior you have heard, we do heed the invitation. We do turn and seek the Lord. Many summers you have wasted. Life and harvest, you have seen. Winter snow by spring have melted, yet you linger in your sin. Jesus, your choice is waiting. Tally not, at once decide. While the Spirit now is striving, healed and seek the Savior's side. Seas of fitness to be thinking. Do not longer try to feel. It is trusting and not feeling that you will give the Spirit seal. Let your will to God be given. Trust in Christ's atoning blood. Look to Jesus now in heaven. Lest on his unchanging word. Come believing, come believing. Come to Jesus, look and live. Come believing, come believing. Look to Jesus and live.
the Lord. Welcome to Divine Encounter with the God of Miracles. Today is day one, and I'm believing the Lord, the blessings of the Lord will follow after you throughout the period of this crusade in the name of Jesus. I know that you are going to have an encounter, a divine encounter, and that with the God of Miracles. Praise the Lord. Can you give me a louder amen? We are going to spend some few minutes to pray together. And so I would like us to rise up together to pray. Let's rise up, please. I'm reading in Genesis chapter 32, verse 24. And Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. In verse 26, and he said, let me go, for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. I will not let thee go except thou bless me. Blessings are coming your way in this crusade. You will not go back the same. The Lord will meet you at the point of your need in Jesus' name. And then in verse 28, he said, And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. In this crusade, there will be transformations. Names are going to be changed. Destinies are going to be changed. Sinners will become saints. Backsliders will become believers. The Lord is going to transform lives in this very crusade. If you believe it, can I hear your amen? And in verse 30, and Jacob called the name of the place Peniel, for I have seen God face to face. In this crusade, you are going to see God face to face. He will transform your life. He will meet you at the point of your need. And your life will not remain the same again in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. And if you believe, I want you to shout a louder amen. I want you to open your mouth now and talk to the Lord. And say, Lord, I want a divine encounter in this GCK, in this crusade. I want you to meet me at the point of my need. I want a divine encounter. Oh, Lord, with you, not with any other person, with the God of miracles, the God of the heavens, the God that created the heavens and the earth and is in control of the whole universe. Oh, Lord, I want a divine encounter with you. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord and say, Lord, I have come. I will not go back the same. Meet me at the point of my needs. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Every mountain will be rolled away from your life. God will visit you in this crusade divine encounter. He will meet with you. Spiritually, he will transform you. Physically, he will transform you. In every aspect of your life, the Lord is going to do great things in your life. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Here in the Alpha location, God is going to do great things. In Asia, in Africa, in Australia, God will do great things. Open your mouth and pray. In Europe, the Lord is reaching out to you there. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. In North America, South America, the power of the Lord is coming out there. Open your mouth and pray. Anywhere you are, the power of God will reach out to you there. Talk to the Lord and say, Lord, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. Talk to the Lord. Hold on to the Lord and say, Lord, I have come believing. I have come with faith. I have come trusting. And Lord, I want you to visit me this very time around. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord and call upon the name of the Lord. He is going to do great things in your life. I don't know what your name is. I don't know what uh, reproach is in your life, but the Lord is ready to roll that reproach out of your life and change your life and change your name and change your destiny and make you a new man in this very crusade. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Tell the Lord, I want to see you face to face. I want to meet with you. I want a transformation in my life. You cannot see God and remain the same. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord and say, Lord, I am here. I'm here to see you. I'm here to meet with you. I'm here for transformation. I'm here for renewal. I'm here for revival. I'm here for transformation. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. The Lord is going to do it. If it is the salvation, God is going to do it in your life. Is it uh, you want sanctification? God is bringing it to your life. Do you want a miracle? God is bringing it to your life. Remember, this is divine encounter with the God of miracles. You can't come here and remain the same. Anywhere you are, at the Alpha location here, or you are in any other country, God is going to meet with you there, and there will be transformation. Miracles galore in this very crusade. 
Yokes are going to be broken. Bondages will be removed totally. And the Lord is going to bring deliverance into your life in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. The Lord is hearing your prayers. Yes, yes, I can see you are praying. Pray more, pray more. Have faith in the Lord. The Lord is going to answer your prayers. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. The Lord is visiting us today. Today is a unique day. The, today is a special day. And the Lord will not leave you the same. Call upon the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Another global amen. We are going to pray unto the Lord. Because this time around, as you look around the world, there are so many conflicts here and there. There is uh, people uh, in corruption everywhere in all the nations. As you look around, there are epidemics, there is crime, there is wickedness in the world in many places. But we're going to pray as we start this GCK today, divine encounter with the God of miracles. We're not going to only have individual encounters, personal encounters, family encounters. We're going to have national encounters in every country. Open your mouth and pray to the Lord and say, Lord, we want your peace to go forth into every nation around the world. We want the power of God to reach out to every country around the world and bring transformation and bring peace and bring salvation. Pray and talk to the Lord. Commit all the leaders of the nations unto the Lord and say, Lord, we want you to guide them. We want you to show them the right way and let the Spirit of God show them how to lead the people the right way. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. God will do great things. From Angola to Austria, the Lord will do great things. From Bangladesh to Brazil, the Lord is going to do great things. From Canada all the way to China, God will do great things. From India to Italy, God will do great things. Are yeah, you in New Zealand? God will do great things. All the way to Namibia, God is going to do great and mighty things. Call upon the name of the Lord. From Russia to Rwanda, the Lord is there. He will reach out to you. He sees all the corners of the world. He is not limited in any way. Call upon the name of the Lord. Anywhere you are, from Singapore to Switzerland, the Lord is going to reach out to you. Call upon the name of the Lord. He will do it. He will do it. Are you in the United Kingdom or Ukraine? God is going to reach out to you there. It doesn't matter where you are. You are in the United States or United Arab Emirates. The power of God will reach out to you. Call upon the name of the Lord. Anywhere you are, this is a time of divine encounter. And the Lord is going to do it in your life in the name of Jesus. From Zambia here all the way to Zimbabwe, God is available. God is present. And the power of God is available to do great and mighty things in your life. Pray, pray, pray. Call upon the name of the Lord. The Lord will answer your prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Now we're going to pray unto the Lord, and we're going to commit our Father in the Lord, that is the convener of the GCK, unto the Lord at this time. Throughout this period of the crusade, we're going to pray. The anointing of God will be great upon his life. The power of God will be mighty upon his life. The Lord is going to do great things. And the power of God will walk through him in a mighty way in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and pray to the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We are going to pray unto the Lord. In this very GCK, there will be mighty healings. There will be mighty revival. And all that will come through the power of the, of the Lord, walking through the man of God. We are going to pray unto the Lord that in this crusade, there will be divine utterance through the man of God. And he is going to do great things. Call upon the name of the Lord. He is here. He is hearing your prayers. He will answer your prayers. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. We are going to pray unto the Lord and ask the Lord that his power be present in the minister's conference, in the youth impact program. And all through the days of the program, day one, all through to day six, the power of God will be present to heal, to deliver, to save. And everyone that attends this program will have a divine encounter with the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. The Lord is going to do it. Pray, pray, pray. Call upon the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Can we have a global amen? Amen. God is going to do it in Jesus' name. We are going to pray together now. And I believe the Lord. All of us, as we are standing up and praying, God has answered our prayers. 
and we will see the manifestation and fulfillment in our lives and in the life of other people in Jesus' name. Let us pray together. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you and we bless you for this short time of prayer. We know you are, you are with us. You have been with us. You are going to be with us from the beginning today, day one of this program, all through to the end. Lord, your presence will be with us. And we know you are going to do great things in Alpha location here and in all the nations around the world. Your power is going to reach out to everyone. Oh, Lord, no one will be left out in Jesus' name. Father, your blessings will touch them and transform them and renew them. And you'll meet them at the point of their needs in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, we know that it's going to be miracles galore. And we're going to see you face to face. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Give me a bigger amen. We want to welcome every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, our very important guests. And uh, I want to start by letting you know, needless to say, as you can see, our Father in the Lord is seated right there, packed full with the blessings of God. And uh, by my left hand side here, it's our mommy in the Lord, mommy, Esther Kumuyi. And uh, in the interest of time, I have a lot of our ministers who are seated there from CCZ, from ICOS, from uh, Evangelical Fellowship of Zambia. If you don't mind, please uh, rise up where you are. I know I should have recognized all of you one by one, but please, our time is gone. God bless you. We appreciate. And we have other ministers of the gospel, those who have traveled from far, who are seated right here with us, and uh, right at the front here from India and uh, Ethiopia. Please uh, rise up and uh, just wave your hand at us. God bless you. We welcome you to the beautiful land of Zambia in Jesus' name. This crusade, this is the first day. And in the beginning, God did wonders. Out of every disorder in your life, there will be order today in Jesus' name. This is the beginning, the first day of the crusade and it continues up to Tuesday every evening. And uh, uh, we are going to be starting exactly 16.30 hours as we get started from the Alpha location here. Please uh, pay attention to the meetings that will follow. Tomorrow morning, we are going to uh, Mulungushi International Conference Center, the KK. ICC wing. That's the Kenne Kaunda wing. That's where we are having the conference center at the main auditorium. And the starting time is 8 o'clock in the morning. And please uh, make your way to that particular place. All ministers of the gospel are invited. And we want to call all professionals from all walks of life and all church workers it doesn't matter which denomination, you are most welcome. For our Father in the Lord has come to shape and help us to shape both our ministries and also our profession. And we need to be present there 8 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. On Saturday is a wonderful day. That's the day for the Impact Academy. In the Minister's Conference, we are dealing with you exceeding limits. Whatever limitation has been there in your ministry, you are going to exceed. After tomorrow and Monday and Tuesday, you have a testimony. And as you go back to your ministry and your profession, you will see things have turned around. 
On Saturday, we are having the Impact Academy. That's Awakening the Sleeping Giant. That's the theme. And you can't afford to miss it. It will be right here at the National Hero Stadium. Starting time is 8 o'clock in the morning. All our young people at the secondary school and the tertiary institutions and those who have graduated and all professionals are welcome for this special edition of the Impact Academy for Youth as our Father in the Lord helps to wake up the sleeping giants in this particular nation. And when that meeting finishes on Saturday, I promise you, you are not going to be the same again. The Almighty God will do wonders. And let's go out there, invite other people, prepare them for this wonderful occasion. And by the grace of God, on Sunday, we are going to be having a global service here. Starting time is 9 o'clock in the morning. And the, a father in the Lord will be here. And he will be ministering to us to prepare us for our glorious home above. Don't miss it. Invite other people and come with them. And come and receive the glorious package that the Almighty God has prepared for us. And uh, Monday morning, we are going back to Mulungushi International Conference Center, KKICC Wing. Once again, 8 o'clock in the morning, as we continue with exceeding limits in ministries and also in your profession. Don't miss it. On Tuesday will be the grand finale, and you can't afford to miss any of these, particularly on Tuesday, you just have to do everything possible to be present there in the morning, 8 o'clock in the morning, and in the evening again, we'll be coming back to the National Hero Stadium to conclude our crusade. Thank you very much. We are going to next listen to some testimonies. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Dr. Kanyumbu. Uh, with me, we have uh, one of our colleagues who visited our facilities and uh, is here to give a testimony on a condition referred to as osteoarthritis. I'll leave her to proceed with her testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Chikondi Charity Sakala. Um, I from UNSA, UNSA Campus Fellowship. I'm here to testify of the goodness of the Lord in my life. At age 11 years old, I started experiencing leg cramps and leg swelling. Later on, I went to the hospital and they diagnosed me with osteoarthritis. So this problem used to affect my legs, the joints, my hips, and my, my knees. So I had pains and my legs would swell if I would sit for a long time and
start day one when they crucified God son they had no idea what they had done and the grounds begin to shake and the storm was from the
When they crucified God's son, they had no idea what they had done. And the ground began to shake, and the storm was rolled away, and the king of kings walked out of the grave. You were the God of miracles, you redefined the possible. Test. 
visited him throughout the course of time. So many still reach out to him with broken hearts and minds. And every one of them will say, with no exceptions that they find, Jesus never fails. Even in the days of... his people through and then he came to show his love and he died for me and you then he rose again to prove every promise I've been through Jesus never Jesus never Satan, you cannot prevail because Jesus never fails. Sometimes this world brings trouble that I find so hard to bear. I know I could not make it without Jesus being there. It's so encouraging oh. to know, however deep we in despair, that Jesus. Jesus never fails. So what can I do to prove to you? Tell me how can you deny? No autumn part, no mysteries. It's all so cut and dry. And on the weakness of your life, I'll be the first to testify that Jesus never Well, get thee behind me, Satan, you cannot prevail, because Jesus never, I know that Jesus never Well, get thee behind me, Satan, you cannot prevail, because Jesus never fails, Jesus never, my Jesus never fails.